This is the city. The city of Absalom. The city at the center of the world. Absalom is celebrating the Radiant Festival, a three-month festival of epic proportions held once every hundred years. The celebration attracts all types. Tourists, performers, merchants, inventors, as well as unsavory types, petty thieves, gangs, cults, and criminal enterprises. That's where we come in. We protect and serve. We are the Agents of Edgewatch. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat Agents of Edgewatch. I'm your GM and host, Stephen Glicker, and in this week's episode, the agents continue to explore the haunted carnival and come across some interesting sights. So those of you who are happy that the show was back and then right away we didn't have a new episode last week, I apologize because, well, it was Thanksgiving and I got really busy and a lot of things were happening. Not only was it Thanksgiving, but the Kickstarter was ending and then we rarely have sales on Battlezoo.com and Roll for Combat, but we had a big sale. I had a lot going on. I had to just coordinate a lot and I didn't have time to finish in editing the show, but that was one of the caveats I said last week is that I might not be able to release the show every single week at the minimum, I will have it bi-weekly, but I will try to release it every single week. But if things go crazy, I'm not going to kill myself because what I used to do in the past, and that's how I got burnt out and I stopped doing the show, and instead, you just might have to wait a week, but the show will keep going on. So, so good thing is I did edit this week's episode and next week's episode, so we should be good for a little while. But with the holidays coming up, I am going to warn you, I'm going away. So I might stop during the Christmas break. We'll see how many I get ahead of time, how many I can get into the can. But don't be shocked if the show disappears for a week or so. Just keep that in mind. So for those of you listening and are attending PAX Unplugged this week in Philly, I will be there. If you see me, do say hi. I'll be walking around with... Well, probably other YouTubers and other podcasters, so if you see a big group of us, come on by and say hi. In other news, the Year of Legends just wrapped up, and for those of you who missed the Kickstarter, you'll be able to order it on Battlezoo.com in the very near future. You will not be able to get Devils right away. That was the ancestry you got if you backed the Kickstarter. You're going to get Angels in the beginning of the year as well as Devils. However, if you do purchase it on Battlezoo.com, you'll still get Devils. You're just going to get it later. But you can still get all the animated tokens, of which there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of animated tokens. And we're actually updating the Year of Legends with a lot of things we learned with the Year of Monsters. So if you like the Foundry modules for Year of Monsters, you're going to love the Foundry modules for the Year of Legends. We have actually been updating the layout. We've been updating the design. We've been updating the functionality. We're making them look a lot more like the PDFs now. And we're putting a lot more links and cross links and functionality in there so they're as useful as possible. As for the PDFs themselves, they're going to be pretty big because the first year Mark wrote all of them. But this year we actually have a whole bunch of freelancers as well as Mark and we gave them very specific guidelines of how long they should be. And we made sure that all of them were at least six to seven thousand words, which is pretty big. That is way bigger than your standard Paizo Ancestry and obviously way bigger than a 5D Ancestry to say the least. So for those of you who missed Year of Legends, you'll be able to get that on Battlezoo.com. As for the Year of Monsters, well, this Friday, it finally comes out. The most anticipated ancestry, by far, Intelligent Weapons. And let me tell you, this is huge, okay? This is a big, and I mean big ancestry. We went to town on this thing. Mark wrote it. I play tested and battle tested this thing as well as some of our other testers and wow this is really tough and it is going to be unlike anything you've ever seen because you are a weapon that's right you're an intelligent weapon and how does that work so one of the interesting things about writing a new ancestry like this is there was nothing to base it off of you see, whenever you write an ancestry, you can use existing rules and existing tables and existing functionality within the game system. It's one of the main hallmarks of creating a new race or ancestry is that you build them off on each other. But in this case, you're playing an animated weapon. There's nothing in the, any of the rules that support anything like this. 
So Mark had to literally come up with new tables, new rules, new concepts, new ideas, which will be great if you ever want to, I don't know, reuse it for something else. But we had to just invent entirely new concepts of how you can play an animated weapon. And one of the coolest things we added, which actually is my favorite, is we have a large section explaining how you can play the weapon and someone else, another one of your friends, could play the PC. Which I don't know if this has ever been done before. So two people can play one character. So one person is the weapon and one person is the PC. And you guys can figure out how you want to play together. And I actually think this is going to open up a whole new exploration space that maybe hasn't been done before because how many times have you ever wanted to play with someone who wants to play with you, maybe significant other or your kid or something, but they just want to play the game, but they don't want to get into all the nitty gritty. They don't want to get into the details. They just want to play and have fun. But this way, you can. So this is going to be, I think, game changing. And I'm going to explore this space a lot more in the future. Anyhow, if you want to check out the Intelligent Weapon, it should be out by December 1st. If you subscribe to the Year of Monsters, you'll get it. And then that's it. The Year of Monsters is sort of complete. We are actually going to expand several of the ancestries and make them larger. So there will be one more update to the Year of Monsters. I don't know when that's going to be. It's going to be probably sometime January, February, because we're still meeting with all the backers. We had something from the Kickstarter where we met with people who use the ancestries. We get their feedback and then we use the feedback to actually improve them for the final compendium. And so there'll be one more massive big update to all of it. We'll write it all out so people know what it is. But right now, if you want to see what it's like to play an animated weapon with a million options and a lot of different ways for both Pathfinder and 5e, just go to battlesleague.com and get the Year of Monsters and you will check it out. It will be awesome. Anyhow, with that, let's get to this week's exciting episode. Last we left off, you managed to find the mirror mirror universe and you destroyed it killing that poor poor innocent shattering man who kept trying to kill gomez over and over and over again god that was fun and then you said hey let's go play in the sandbox and that was a mistake as you oh god utterly destroyed in a single round you ran away licking your wounds and now, who knows? Who knows where you're going to go? But it sounds like you guys are sick of this. It's the carnival. Who doesn't want to go to Harrowland? Everyone loves Harrowland. It is it is a child's dream, and you're all children at heart. But do whatever you want, man. You want to run to the end? Go right ahead. You can try. You can try whatever you want. But you found, let's see. You found the Rashaka Cod. That one was in the avalanche. That was where those dead bodies were falling. You found the Jugga. That was in the keep. That was with the uh, the merry-go-round, Ferris wheel, whatever it was, uh, with the bear you talked about. And that's it. <laughs> you only found two. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wonder if there's there. one in that sandbox. Uh, for some yeah. reason, Dougie only has 46. Because you just oh, ran points. out of the sandbox. The sandbox that... Oh, God, Yeah, let's heal up. Let's do that first. Yeah, hand wave heal. Our favorite part. Hand wave heal. It's like, I'm going to heal, press the button, and I'm healed. There you go. It's as easy as it gets. Yep. Uh, we need to collect more of these cards. That's well... Like magic. <sighs> What was in the sandbox? I forget what was in the sandbox. It wasn't it like a scorpion or something. Sand, sand, oh, and so death. It was, a, it was a big elemental. Death sand. It was an elemental oh. Sandman thing. Yeah, it was Sandman. Off. It was from Spider-Man. Sandman. Yeah. It, it, uh, don't it, you have a feather it, token it that can defeat that guy? Um, <laughs> no, I think so. You have, you have water. You have that water geyser spell. Turn him to mud. That's how you beat Sandman. You turn yeah. him to mud, and he's mud man. Mud man. Could I think be. that might be worse. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> um, actually, 
Investigator. It's been so long. We haven't played in a couple weeks because of real Trouble. world yeah. stuff. Um, if you wish to do a free recall knowledge, since even I don't remember what you knew, you may. Okay, let's do that then. Let's recall some knowledge. All right. I'll let you even roll it. How about that? You can do Arcana or Nature. That's going to be Arcana then. You sure? <laughs> let's see what you get. It was a large earth elemental, and uh, 28 is not a good roll as you roll a two. Ugh. I'll tell you what you I have, Can I recall now? If it's it's sure, made anyone I know, can. I know it's anyone made of can. sand. Anyone can do arcana, nature, or once you see it, you can do it. Here's the weird thing, which That's no one does. That's actually a good roll. You can recall knowledge multiple times, <laughs> which I... I think you have to keep fighting it. You can't do it like it's like one per round. So as long as you keep fighting it, you can keep recalling knowledge. No one ever does it, but you can. Okay. Basil. Basil's like, it's made of sand. And Lomag's like, actually. And then he like sits down, crosses his legs, and does a little thinker's cap. Like he's like, you know, back in the monk days, we used to practice against mud men. Uh, and I actually know a little bit about these earth elementals, if you will. You know that they can burrow through sand and dirt, but not stone, leaving no tunnel or sign of passing, which is, of course, pretty standard for most earth elementals. This one also, from what you can tell, can also engulf people, which is bad because you could actually bring them down and then suffocate you down there. And, of course, they have Sandblast, which I think you saw, which is they, well, Sandblasting is pretty bad, as you can might imagine. And I think he's cast, did he cast Disintegration on one of you? Oh, that's right, he did. He cast a Disintegration on one of you. Yeah, um, all that's bad. Yeah, all that's bad. Now, here's the good thing. They will run out of spells. They only have a limited number per day, so if you want, you can kind of probably... Go in there, get them to cast the spells, get rid of them, and before you know it, they will be out of resources, and you can just go in there and attack, or even do it from range, because maybe they won't leave the sand. Who knows? This seems like a trap. Yeah, that too. Sorry. I mean, they never lose their ability to engulf you and drag you down. I know that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he can't disintegrate you, so he'll just have to suffocate you instead. Right, right. That's rough. Uh, you know no immunities or resistances or weaknesses, anything like that. Um, I, I, I'm in favor of tabling that one. for. Yeah, I yeah, think so, I'll too. Do that too. I like that idea. I think we should we'll, check we'll out... put a pin in that one. Yeah, put a pin in that. Let's go <laughs> to the... I think okay. we should go to the west. Into okay. that. Well, you got a lot of steps to the west. You got this little room here. Uh, this little, like, little thingy. Thingy. I just call Let's it check thingy. this out. Oh, you're going to the thingy. All right. It's actually quite fun. Let me let me get the, the thing out. You were going to. By the other one, the the, way, the one you just ran away from was the, the desert. Jason, mm. you want to you wanna hand wave heal Basil back up the full? You don't have to. You don't have to, but. Mm -hmm. Sauce for the goose. I, I have a, 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 a question. How do we retrain feats? When does that happen? When, when you retrain feats? Yeah, can I retrain a feat? Yeah, it takes a week. Okay. Yeah, right, you I'll need go. like actual da serious downtime. All right, so I'll have to deal with that later. I, I think that that skirmish strike was a bad choice, John. Yeah, that's I, I, I got <laughs> rid of it. I told you not <laughs> to get it. Strike. Yeah, someone should have told me because that was. I that, told you not to get it. I didn't realize it's considered a flourish thing, and I only can you can only do one flourish thing per round. And my, oh, my, well, uh, you have other flourish things. I have other it's flourish even worse things. for you. Exactly. Okay, it's so terrible. that's very up. You want blind fight? That mm. is what. You yeah, fight. that's what you're you a want. monk. God, mm. how do you not take blind fight? It's True. just it's it does in every the, uh, every 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 dungeon has blind every fight. every kung fu movie. Yeah, um, you know something else. Which I found out, but I don't. I, I don't know if I have the heart to tell you this, Chris. Are you ready? Oh, here we go. Are you nerfing me? Am I getting hit with a nerf bat? Uh, Jalbari, uh, Heaven Seeker. Uh huh. It there was a misprint. Uh, it's actually doing. You're doing. 
a uh, hundred or sorry, two hundred percent more damage than you're supposed to. You're not supposed to do your full level. You're supposed to do half your level. But I will keep it. I'll let you do it as is. Wait, hold on a second. It's actually I was talking because it's in the it's in the hero lab. Oh, however, well, maybe they fixed it in Hero Lab then. Maybe you're doing the right one. The way it's printed was wrong, and they actually fixed it. Um, so I don't know if you have the right one. Or I but... thought it was half. I thought it was half my level for each of the effects, which one was thunder. It's something and like one yeah. Was oh yeah, lightning. I think that's right. Maybe right, right. I think that's what it's. Supposed to... I don't know. Let's look it up. But I mean, I put it this way. Whatever it is, I'll keep it. I think it's okay. I don't think it's that game breaking. And it's not like you guys are like all super heavy melee to begin with. But it was interesting that it was written incorrectly, and it was. I believe that. I mean, it's really good. It's, yeah, it, it is, yeah. But you know what? I, I'm fine with it. You know, it's like of all the things because I feel like whatever. I think it's fine. It's like, oh, you do an extra. I, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm leaving it at that. So. It's like an extra six damage, probably. Whatever. At the most, yeah. yeah, it's fine. I don't care. I'll look at it some other time. But um, I'm just thought. I just thought you should know. Yeah, Whenever well, if, if we if we need fair. to if we need to adjust it, I have no problem with that. Right? Yeah, I know you do. I know you're a pro, but for now, we'll just keep it and I'll investigate it later. But I didn't even know that one because we we're talking about mistakes. And they're like, oh, there's this one mistake of the worst thing ever done with John <laughs> Mary Heaven Seeker. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm like, yep. that's Chris's. Uh oh. What, hey, what I was saw it. I'm like, that's damn good. Like, that's right. Like, I was really like, oh, that is damn good. And I was like, yeah, it's so good, it's broken. And they can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, give me a sec. So you go in front of this. It's like a 15 by 15 foot house. A dull gray paint on the small booth appears worn down. A sign above the door, just faintly visible, reads, Learn your fortune from the mute hag. That's it. Mm. And there's one door going into this little gray Shack. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Dougie, that's a check for traps. Is that something that you don't have that can do just as be- well as I, I can? Don't have it. Yet. Wow! <laughs> I oh make wow! It, that's amazing. I'm going to check for traps in a week. I might have it. Yeah, in a week you might have. After it I trap. retrain my feet. <laughs> I don't know if you will. I do. I will be getting a rogue feet. So. What? Really? Yeah. What are you gonna do with a rogue? Well, I'm a rogue. Do you realize that? <laughs> no, you're a monk, you idiot. No, I'm a monk and a rogue. <laughs> you're whatever. You're you're. A, I don't know what I am anymore. I'm a multi-class, like all of us are. There, there's no. I, I'm not. I'm a straight I'm sorcerer. A, I'm not multi-class. A, I'm multi-class. One and done. One and done. Okay. There's no traps. All, all right. right. Should I take um, point or? Yeah, you take point. I. You have a best armor class by far. I open, I open it up. You open the door. I want my I want my palm red. Okay. Well, oh, it's in there too. <laughs> There's something in there. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, so, Get in there. Yeah, all right. Well, hold yeah, on. There's something in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's moving. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sure yeah. there's nothing to fear. It's an abandoned freaking <laughs> carnival not. of hell. Well, hopefully it's you're animatronic. You're sitting in there just waiting for somebody to go in. Oh, you're perfectly it's, safe. Bill it's man. bear country in uh, Disney. Uh, I think, Chris, I think if John could push uh, yeah, I know. I, I, in there, I could already see you. Like, I'm get lined in up. There. I'm you lined up. I'm, get in, in there. there. Stop arguing, you big coward. You don't try throw. to shove him in there. <laughs> he who opens the door it. uses it. Oh, that's so mean. Um, let me see. Sorry, I was distracted. Uh, okay. You see, a one-room building appears cramped with fortune-telling bric-a-brac, such as gaudy veils, cord strung with beads, and a velvet-colored table with a crystal ball upon it. The interior of the room feels significantly colder than the exterior. Hovering behind the table with the crystal ball, a ghostly figure opposite a wooden chair. She resembles an elven woman wearing a headscarf over long white hair and a cloth gag over her mouth. The cloth noted the cloth appears noticeably more solid than the rest of her and has a glaring eyeball painted on the cloth. 
I have a picture. Oh no! Oh, this 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 doesn't seem so bad. It's just a fortune teller. Dude, it's a banshee. It's, it's a, a banshee. fortune teller. You have nothing to fear. Don't worry about it. Mm. Don't worry about it. Although if I'm a banshee, I think I attack the person, the closest ally next to me. So I will volunteer to. Uh, she probably wants to talk. Uh, Banshee screams and you, and you roll save or die. Uh, That's what the yeah. Banshee is. Uh, Does it really I think, save or die? I think it it's, 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 it, it's... It was no, really this bad. Is, this is the new nerfed... Uh, it's it it's was, save yeah. or attack your... Uh, uh, there were certain allies. things in, in first edition that were just outright save or die. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Many uh, Like, there was... Dozens of things. It was Cato Blipas. Cato Blipas. Yeah. All uh, the Basilis. demons. All the devils. All pretty much the dragons. Ghosts. Ghosts would. Uh, Ghosts the, are really God, bad. So like there, there was a whole yeah. uh, debate about something about. I, like, oh, it'd be wonderful if we made a monster that aged you. Wouldn't that be great? And everybody's like, that would be terrible. I was like, dude, ghosts would do that. Ghosts would age you ten to ten to forty. Ten years. to one, Ten to forty years, and there's no save. I don't think for that. No, you just you just get your. And old. if you get too you're old, old right. you're really, you're done. Your character. Yeah, done. you're done. You have to access those uh, DMG, those arcane, right. those, like corner DMG rules, where it's like you get modified. We get modifiers. Minus strength and con, increase wisdom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right, I shared a picture with you. She probably has a card, though. That's do you see? The thing. Do you see the picture? Yeah, I see it. it where is it? I, I do not see the picture. It just showed up in oh, the middle of the, the uh, game. I see it. So that oh, is what you it. see. You see a woman Ooh. floating behind a crystal ball on a velvet, you know, table. There's a chair in front, actually two chairs according to this artwork, um, and she looks up at you and gestures for you to come in, and on the table is a tag that reads, gaze into the crystal ball to see the hidden truth. Oh, I gotta see the hidden truth. All right, I'll go in and look. All the Manxies is a crystal wow. ball that's cut all your money. McDonald's. Google. You run in. She's just hovering there. She's looking at you. Ba- Basil, get in here. The, it's it's the, cold the, the, the in there. It's is cold. <laughs> it's much colder in there. It's like death. Wait, we got to get our magic users in there. They, get in here, Basil. Oh my god, you guys could barely Should we fit. all be in the blast radius? <laughs> yes, we should smart? all be in a tight formation. Oh my god. Look at this. There it's a cloud are. car of death. You know what? I'm not. Do- I'm staying outside. I'm standing guard oh. outside. <laughs> Basil's like this is stupid. This is stupid. That's We're crazy. All going it's crazy there. talk. <laughs> it's not so bad. Well, you know what? Um, Gomez should go over to the her side. So like she, if there's a cone of all right. Well, she's anyway. she's well. I I'm I'm tempting fate. I want to give her. We have a deck of illusions, you know. I want to give her the deck of illusions and say, give me give me a card reading. Okay. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> um, oh yeah. <laughs> Mad Eye McDougal looks in the crystal ball. You see a hero card titled the Rabbit Prince, which shows a rabbit-headed man gripping his broken sword. And looking unbearably sad. I knew it. The card appears to float within the ball itself. Interesting. Mm. So we gotta smash this ball to get that grab card. It. Grab it. Maybe just reach in and grab it. Uh the fortune teller looks at you. She gestures at her gag on her mouth mm. and starts to pantomime to you. Basil, you understand that she is pantomiming that she will give what you see if you remove the gag all right quick question what kind of this is is this this is this an apparition like what kind of role for skills would this be a religion thing i could just i mean i it's just a knowledge check i, I would do it for you. i know i would like to make people like uh gomez what is this creature it's an occultism role. oh yeah I'll, I'll i'll give it a cult role why not all right, i'll do it for everyone just hold on what is this un- yeah natural- i have occultism too. i'm trained in that i can't i'm not trained in anything else it's but. what is this occult and mumbo jumbo let's see give me a second give me a second everyone's going at once uh lomang <laughs> yeah what's the mumbo jumbo lomang thinks this is like some cool party trick he's like ooh, this is fun you're having a you're having a good old time here. Uh, Mad Eye McDougal 
Is Dougie wise to the trick? No, Dougie is just like, he thinks it's like, ooh, he's like looking under the table if there's like a mirror or something. It's like, how is this woman throwing? Yeah. It's like, it's like the haunted mansion at Disney World. You're like, wow. cool. You have no idea what's going on. Uh, back up to Gomez. God, you guys have terrible occultism and religion. Oh my God, Gomez, your religion is non-trained. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I know is the cult. That's it's occultism. Got a two. You got it too. You're like, I don't know what this thing is. You have no. All three of you think this is well, smoke and mirrors. But now will Basil come to the rescue? The only one with any book sense whatsoever. Oh, Basil, Basil, Basil. Let's see. Uh, you, you come to the rescue. I do. All right. Woo. You, you, uh, you rolled a forty-one on occultism. Everyone else rolled like twenties. Yeah, these are actually these are very uncommon. This is an incorporeal spirit, undead banshee, and they, well, they're furious, tormented souls of elves bound to the material pl plane by betrayal that define the final hours of their lives. Um, they hate the living they hate uh -oh. all things that are alive <laughs> and if they can wail they will wail and if they wail um the wail of the banshee is so bad it can actually suck lives or levels out of you oh that's not good their touch is not much better i hate to break it to you by the way um they're pretty bad um just touching you also can uh, suck your life force out. Um, they are resistant to all damage significantly, and uh, but they're very bad in the sunlight. I say we drink the uh, we take the iocane powder and do what she says. What's oh, no. oh what is, no! Oh I, I, cause, no! Oh no! So because I, I, I want to roll the dice because because it's so obvious. That it's like it's a banshee. It wails. It's got a gag, so it won't wail. Like that's so obvious that I think if we remove the gag, she'll she won't wail, and she'll tell us the secret. I know. I know how... that you know that I know that you know <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I, I think we can mitigate that uh, danger by only one of us being in here. By the well, way, I am um... not getting eaten by a gelatinous cube. I'll do it. Basil, by the way, you you can sense. It's my turn. It's my turn to get eaten by Jesus. You, you can't even. You can, She can't even. She can barely keep her rage in check. Like she's trying to take, keep it cool. She just wants to kill you all. Like she she's just gonna kill you all. She hates. Uh, you. I she feel hates like that everything. is no, news so, worth so mentioning. Is, so is, I mentioned that to the rest okay, of the group. So it, it is obvious. It is what it appears to be. I think there is there the, yeah. the, the, the subtext is text. There is no there is no subtext. So well. One thing Wait, I want to do. Let's just smash this. Uh, Hold on. This this. Before you smash here. anything, I, I want to. I want to get my reading and see if. Dougie, smash. Well, Basil, you also noticed something. That crystal ball is a real crystal ball, and that's like a real thing. That's what I'm saying. It's worth money. <laughs> it's worth gold. Uh, you're an officer. Is it magic? Aren't you officer? Yeah, it's it's. I'm about to tell you. If you stop talking, I, I, I'm like greed is taking over. I, you're like, what is that? Give me the money. I want the monies. Okay, hold on. The loot. Jason, I'll tell you the good news and the bad news. The good okay. news is you know that's a crystal ball. The better news is you know it's magic. The bad news is you got to get a little closer to tell what it is. <laughs> Like in oh, there, in one, front of one thing, right, I, one thing I'll go into the kill box. Oh, Dougie, Dougie will step out and make room for you. There you go, uh, Basil. Ah, there's a nice seat right there. Gotta go right on that seat, baby. Right Yoink. on that seat. Yoink. I'll take a closer look at it. Oh, baby. Lomag, are you holding something? No. <laughs> well, if you're holding something, get ready to drop it. Basil, you realize... This is an uncommon divination magical scrying crystal ball. These are rare, even in Absalon. This is a level 15 selenite crystal ball. It's worth 7,000 gold pieces. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. No chance we're leaving this room without that. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> 
Um, it allows you to use the scrying spell, and it also gives you the benefits of see invisibility on anything you scry. And you could do that, let's see, Crystal Ball, you can cast Clairvoyance once per hour, and you can do a DC 36 scrying spell with see invisibility twice per day. Nice. And what was it? What skill do you use to look? Was... Hmm? It basically, I'm, what I'm class reading the can spells right it. now. Basically, it creates an invisible eye that just hovers over the target of your spell. Mm hmm. And in fact, this this version of it would also be able to see invisibility. But I doubt we can use it. Yeah. Well, that, can that, only that certain people works. use it, or is it? Yeah, anything? it's got to be. It, it also it also never thing. works. It's like nope. it's, it's anyone can spoiler use it. device. Anyone yeah, can use it. it. it never. We, we never get anything useful. Well, you have to be able to cast scrying, but but that's which is a sixth level spell. No, it doesn't. The the cast the crystal ball casts scrying. Oh, you. okay. No, there's an additional benefit if you cast scrying in other ways, I guess. Yes, yes. Yeah, if no, you no, cast it's, a... anyone can use it. Anyone. anyone. But like I said, you said a DC 36, but what are you rolling to to get No, that? no, no, no. That's the DC 36 of it, what it is is when you use scrying Oh, that's the other person. Right, they defend against it, and that's the DC that they have to defend against. Well, clear, see, for, okay, and it's, it's Basil, do you still see the card in there? Basil, she's like frantically looking, and she real, she looks like she, if she could attack you and pull out your freaking throat, she would. But she's like pointing to, she's pointing to the card and pointing to your the gag yeah, she's, saying she's, she's gonna just show it to crying you. the card from somewhere else and that's like that, that you is... do also see the rabbit prince I, I i can show you what the card looks like in front. yeah i like to see that but where is it but where is that card it's like it's, it's floating in the crystal ball i know but she is scrying that to, yeah so it's somewhere so, else like, like, like i think else. i think the idea is you know take take the take my gag off and i'll tell you where the card is right but i I'm, i don't think we should do that actually in this I think we should we should maybe just kill it. If, yeah, if it wasn't if it wasn't for her so transparently had ha, having murderous intent, I, I would do it. But if she's going to be that blatant about wanting well, to kill us, no. <laughs> the problem is is she's probably incorporeal, and that means I can't do anything. She to is her. incorporeal. Yeah, I, I can't. can't. I can't do anything to her. So she, your she, she's an incorporeal spirit, resistant to all damage. Your your weapons are not Except ghost touch, like mine. Force go ghost touch positive. Right, which is what I have. <laughs> I have ghost touch. Yeah, I don't have that. Uh, oh let's God. look at Dougie's sheet. How could you not have that? Dougie has a plus two shifting, striking, low grade, cold iron, ghost touch rapier. There we oh, go. That's not on my character sheet. Wow. <laughs> you really? It's right on your character sheet. I, well, I'm looking at your in short Hero sword. Lab. Doesn't have that. Your short sword. Okay, let me let me check. Oh my god, it is. It doesn't show that on the... You have to drill down to into the character's the... edit and configure. You have to click on the magic item itself. It'll say that. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, looking at it. It says, my, 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 my rapier says disarm deadly, 8d8 finesse. And you have to go to edit and... Uh, okay. So I do have that. All right, you know what? I'm not afraid of her. That is what the rabbit prince Oh, nice. Is. That is what the card looks like. Did you see floating in? Yes, floating in there. All right. Yeah. Does she do anything if we get to this this position? Um, Basil, give me a perception check. And not Dougie, who is a uh, legendary at perception. Dougie, give me one too. And not Lomag, who is trained in perception. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Dougie do one too. <laughs> I roll a two for my good perception. Good job, good job. But well, Dougie, okay, you... well, that's you... fair. Fair in love and war. Wait, Master, you should be legendary. Why is it just a should... Master? It should... Oh. That's weird. Oh. Hold on. You know not how great you are. Uh. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, it doesn't have... Uh, well, perception's not as listed in skills. No, it's correct, because you have a plus at? 25. It is supposed to be legendary. I might have to program this. I might have screwed up the program. Okay. Anyhow. That's fine. Don't matter uh, if I roll a two. <laughs> yeah, you still rolled a two. 
Basil, you you know where the card is. By looking at the oh. crystal ball, you actually notice the the card is underneath the crystal ball, and all it's doing is reflecting the card into the ball itself. That is hilarious. That oh, is that's really great. Funny. Oh, that's so good. Well, what Ooh, do we yeah, think? Do we want to... Wait, Dougie has sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Wow. Do you want me to use press digitation to give you cover and you'll this might and you palm it? This might has never... Ha- I don't think this ever happened. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll put it, a, does that, a rabbit does that... out of a hat. A literal rabbit out of that. She's probably... Is, is that a, an illusionary ability, Gomez? What? It is. Press the digitation. Oh, I don't think so. Actually, let me let me check. I can't imagine it's going. Oh to no, it's, it's no, no, it's not. It's actually, it's actually, you can create an illusion. I think a small one. I like. I make actual things. No, no, it's it's actually it's an evocation. Yeah, palm an object is in thievery. Although I don't know if it's underneath the. Yeah, I think that should be. Uh... There, there really isn't a sleight of hand. No, I, I, I create a, tepid, a temporary object of negligible bulk. I'll make a handkerchief. And I'll, with a flourish, I'll make a handkerchief and put it over the crystal ball. And then you you, you, oh, you, yeah. you swipe it. That's a good idea. Tell me, what are it, you it'll doing? Be, it'll be like David Copperfield. <laughs> Am I not legendary in... Uh... You are. You are. Okay, so my hero lab is showing... This is level 14 Dougie. Um, I don't know. Well, don't worry about it. Um, okay, so a, a wait, theory, I'm going to use sleight of hand. I'm, wait, wait, I'm wait, I, don't know. I don't know if we're really doing that. Palm and object. Okay. I've never done sleight of hand, so let's look it up. It's a... Uh... And if you fail, I could do it, too. Well, I'll, I'll yeah, I'm sure to, she if, won't if, react if I, if I can, I for the RP, <laughs> for the RP, uh, I would uh, do, do a performance check with press digitation to assist him and give him... Uh, uh, like whatever bonus I can as an assist, or not, or if that's too much of a hassle, I won't. Try it. Go for it. I mean, I, I'm kind of of the opinion that we we can't leave a live banshee around where the public can get to it, and it just dude, there's so much, there's so much bullshit in this place, man. It, there's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot this, of this, like, this whole this whole thing is just a big toxic waste dump. He's just put it put a sign out front and walk yeah, in. yeah. Put a warning. It because. was closed. You guys exactly. came in. Yeah, exactly. We put a more aggressive sign. Wait, what is it? Because there is no sleight of hand anymore. No, there isn't. To... It's called a palm and object. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I've never seen this. Palming a small. Well, it's unattended. So, I will say you can try, but it's going to be extremely hard. Unattended. To it's, it's, it's it's not yeah, but it's in someone's under possession. the crystal ball. It's under the crystal ball. Okay, okay, but I can okay. see it. I mean, it's all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think what that means is that it's not in somebody's possession. Well, it could be that if you touch the crystal ball. Do whatever you want, man. All you do is. Okay. Here it is. Palm an object. You do it. Theory skill. Go. It's not even secret. Okay. Oh, it's not a secret? No, you do it. Oh, I'm going to totally do it then. Here we go. Here we go. A natural 20. You're going to have to roll. This All is right, going to be so some serious. Is... Like, look over Theory. there! <laughs> I don't know if it's even correctly programmed, but... Thievery. You're thievery. Oh, oh, my God! Oh! Are you kidding me? Dude, dude, dude! <laughs> wow. That's really Does it not, Now, do my That's thieving excellent. tools help with that? Uh, no, 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 okay. no. It's nothing. There's no thieving tools. <laughs> Well, I have it, undermi- it undermines the whole palming <laughs> thing if you break out tools. Well, part of my thieving tools <laughs> is this distracting monkey on the stick toy. That yeah, that yeah, you, you did look a monkey. Yeah, you did look a monkey. <laughs> monkey, monkey. Well, on it's the already stick. actually in your thievery, so I included it. I already have it in there. Um, really? Are you upset? Are you trying to get? Uh, are you trying to get a higher? Like a forty-three is not good enough. Can I figure out how to get a forty? I want a critical success. Is that a critical success? No. It's, okay. It's well, that's that's success. why I'm trying to do it. I got uh, monkey on the go, stick. And go, Gomez has a distraction too. So. Okay. What, well, really? Are you going to try something? Because uh, if you fail, it's gonna it's gonna counter. Uh, Dougie. Well, no, nah, it's too late now. You already did it. Uh, I don't know. I heard Chris starting to talk. What is Chris? Oh, well, he, he, I said it's like. Five minutes. He he said did, yeah, he did minutes. say that. Actually, no, no, no. Like, yeah, okay. We should reverse it. Like Steve was looking something up, and Seth declared his action. So, oh, you, it, well, you said you were kidding. You said you were going to put. Well, it. well, I said I said it like you know, if it was too much a hassle, I don't have to do it. But I, I, it's kind of like up to you to 
to decide whether or not <laughs> whether or not. I was think I'm a it. I'm a legendary thief. I don't need it. <sighs> yeah, and more importantly, if you start messing with the crystal ball, thanks, you will. Yeah, yeah. Out. Um, I don't know how it happened. In fact, here's the here's the thing, John. Uh-huh. For you to succeed, you got to tell me how you do it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently, I'm going to very slowly push the crystal ball. I'm not touching the actual crystal ball. I'm using my sleeve. Uh, I've got my like ar- my armored sleeve that doesn't look armored, um, but I'm just going to push it a little bit to the side so that it's like tilting slightly. And then with my pinky, I'm going to reach underneath it and slip the card out from underneath the crystal ball and into my sleeve. I don't know how you know. Legendary. legendary. Legendary thief could do that. It's you, not a master you can't do that. You are freaking. Uh, you Rolling earned your, you've earned your stripes. Somehow you managed to sneak the card out from under the crystal ball in front of the incorporeal undead spirit banshee that has one job <laughs> that has one job <laughs> you did it and now you can feel the metal because uh, these are metal don't forget in your sleeve and you did it uh you also realize that the jig is going to be up in about two seconds so <laughs> figure out what you're going to do quickly because she's going to look in that crystal ball and realize she doesn't see a card anymore go uh Let's get out of here. We, she has nothing for us. I agree. Let us quit this place. You know, it's a, it's a smash and grab. However. <laughs> however. However. We yes. left nothing behind. No, you didn't leave anything behind. Uh, you know, yeah, you left the crystal ball itself, I know. Oh, yeah. Well, does somebody have a... Uh, mage hand they could potentially pick that thing up it's an unattended object it's, it's no it's not she's watching it <laughs> she had one job and she's, she's watching it but she can't touch it though probably it's true interesting interesting yeah i i think i'm ready to cut our losses we got we got the card i think we, we should put, t- put a pin in this off we could put a pin in this one too we got before, we're running out of pins but yeah i i think that's a good before idea before we go home i think we we need to deal with the crystal ball situation right you don't need you know, seven thousand goals just lying around it's also actually kind of useful yeah very useful uh, I, yeah. I, say it's, I say it's useful for seven thousand gold well, d- we do have ghost touch weapons. I mean, do you get? Do you want to? Uh... I, I, and well, I do have. I do the have thing. the cantrip disrupt undead that I haven't used in a while. And she does have a gag on, which she apparently can't take off, or else she would have. <laughs> cantrip, really? Dude, you, you remember my disrupt undead? Like that's, that's uh, a, I, its job I is to well. do is to do disordinate, d- disproportionate damage for uh, for a. Is cantrip. your banish spell up? Is that something that would work with her? No, nah, I wouldn't do that. No, nah, nah, like, okay. it, see, it's like, the, like basically, disrupts undead. It's like, you know how good my uh, electroshock cantrip and the, the other thing just tends to be because of scales. That's that's the, that's one that's specifically for undead, so it, it tends to do a disproportionate yeah. amount of damage for free. And those cantrips <sighs> scale, they scale in, in, like pretty decently, right? Like, you want to go back to the uh, original positions then? No, no, no. I, I want to put a pin in it. it. I want to put a pin okay, in it. I yeah, want to let's, progress right, the story, and all I right. want to not forget about it, and then come back and just murder her. We whistle, and we, we, we walk out away. Let's let's keep going. Uh, well, it is true. Our primary goal is to like West. find and meet up with Winslow Starborn. We're not really, I mean... What, is that yeah, I know. As, as, much, as much as this just is sort of continuously devolves into a standard D&D campaign, like we're not here to kill monsters and get treasure. We're here, yeah. we're here to actually be police officers, apparently. Um, there might be a card there. It looks like a garden. Actually, it looks like a dog uh, park, honestly. Okay, so <laughs> you leave the mute hag behind. To the west of us. The there's a fenced-in area. Kind of surprised she doesn't chase you, but whatever. She's like, how dare well, I was going to say, is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Ooh. Sure she doesn't like the... Uh, Ooh. I think so. I don't remember. It's I thought so it was long. night when we came in here. I don't remember. It's been so long. Maybe it has been night. Or maybe it's... Maybe she the... probably would chase you because she doesn't... She doesn't, she doesn't There's like a magical, perpetual night. Yeah. Could be. Um, 
the Tangled Briar. This looks very easy to navigate. Navigate the Tangled Briar, reads the sign above. One of the two openings in the high fence around this overgrown garden. The interior hints at a faint path, but the overgrown flora has made the trail nearly indistinguishable between thorny weeds, creepers, and brambles. Once a timed obstacle course along a bramble lined path, it's obviously heavily overgrown to the extent that everything in here appears to be difficult or greater difficult terrain. That's a f- difficult terrain affects you. Mm-hmm. Does difficult terrain affect you? I notice up around the corner to the north, there's actual doors. That is that a separate structure, or is that part of this? Or uh, that's a much larger structure. There are doors leading to a yes. That is a very large permanent structure, gigantic building, which is attached to that castle thing you saw by the way but yes there is doors and i wish we could just set fire to this to all of this and burn it down i know seriously oh boy (laughs) you know just clear it clear it out with fire why there's some orphans making camp in there why would you do that um and then because the card is not flammable i bet they're metal. They're fine. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. It's like a, it's like it, it's like a uh, atomic version of a condemned building. It's just a, it's just the danger to the neighborhood. Exactly. It's all needs to be torn down. Um, I am looking. I have a uh, I have a feather step talisman, but it doesn't say how long it lasts. The duration. It's like one round. Oh, it's got to be long. No, it's, it's not. And, and not only that, and then, it, and then it turns to dust. Like, it's the one... You yeah, I know it's a one-time one use, but it only lasts for one round. It's not a minute or something. Feather Step Stone mm-hmm. you have? Yeah, Feather Step Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. God, that stinks. Well, I can get out. I can move pretty fast in one round, though. Um... It's in, you can move through difficult terrain. Yeah, and uh, greater the, difficult yeah, terrain. Yeah, yeah. I, I, have, I have four of those. Yeah. Uh, it's the one I always wear, too. Here's the thing with the, the, these briars. Is that part of the difficult terrain, these briars? Like, I don't want these well, briars everything to catch in here, on me. Everything in here, it looks like this is heavily overgrown. It looks like the trail is difficult terrain. And everything outside the trail is greater difficult terrain because it's oh, okay. incredibly okay. overgrown. Are there briars that cross the path, like that impede, I could snag on you, like or or is this? Because this is ten feet by my by my map. Not really. Okay. Uh, going I, I, I want to make sure I have my featherstone talisman on, and I will follow yeah. you. I'm, I'm going in. You're going in by yourself, and Little Mag's going in with you. Are you guys coming? Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until you set up a lion mine. That and then I'll sounds come in. thrilled. Uh, now, does it follow this uh, terrain, or is it just like kind of like all we? Well, that path, you like, you're off the path. You're in greater difficulty. If you're, as long as you're oh. on the path, now oh. you're in difficulty. All right, stop. As soon as Char- you get to Charlie there, is in the jungle, man. There's, as soon as you get Charlie, there, Charlie is Charlie's in, there. in the jungle. Ooh, 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 yeah. Ooh, 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 a <laughs> creature rises from the middle of the trees it was literally part of the trees oh my god that thing is big um in fact i will describe what you zomok uh, zomok what That's have you crazy. unleashed on us Tuggy? <laughs> it's um you definitely didn't notice it it looks to be like a dragon built out of leaves and plants <laughs> hey if we had Damn. the crystal ball we could have looked in here first I know. really it's not a it no, rises it's a yeah. and regards Dougie and Lomang with eyes like flinty stones beneath burrows of bark he just sort of looks at you and then closes his eyes and seems to go back to sleep oh okay I'll back away uh hello Mr. Monster um, I'm searching for this. Uh, any cards? Does this look like? God, are there other artifacts on the ground, like old gardening tools or 
uh, if, it, it, it's so overgrown that you can't tell if there, if there was, it's long gone. Like it's just, it's just covered. It's uh, this place is totally overgrown. I'd like to make a nature check on this thing. On well, the creature, okay. I'll, I'll do it too. I can't do that. You got to get a lot closer. You can't see it from the gummies. Oh yeah, uh, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. If you're standing outside, you can't see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah only once no, you, no, you have no, to be no. down here to see. You have to be in this area to see. That, that's that, that's okay. That's okay. I'll live in ignorance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, who did it? Lomang. I'm trying. Yeah. Are you were gonna uh, Lomang, you look at this creature and you are like, I don't know what this thing is. It looks like a dragon made out of bark and leaves. That's it. So, you know. Maybe it's a good dragon. Maybe it's a nice dragon because it's green right now. It could be a luck dragon. It's gargantuan, by the way, in size, <sighs> as you can tell. What would a it, green uh, dragon want to eat? Immediately attack. That's that's always a good sign. That's always, Let's that's feed always, it. It's always an RP uh, actually uh, parlay it opportunity. Like, it actually looks like it went back to bed. <laughs> um. All right, I'm thinking I want to make give it a wide berth, but keep going and circle around. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I, mean, I'm I assume you're going here. Stealthing, and I'm going to go here. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. I'm going to I'm All going right. to stealth. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dougie's stealthing too because he's real stealthy. And I go there. And then I go there. And I'm, and I'm trying to perceive things and see if there's. I'm looking for metal cards. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you. It's. First of all, it's super duper overgrown. You don't see any anything of worth. Is there just, any just searching for friends, spell? I'm going to do a detect magic or two as I'm going. There you go. That's a good idea. Yeah, detect magic on if maybe it's like or looking for the cards in its bark. Uh, that's an interesting ploy. Unless, of course, it's magic. You uh, you don't seem to find any cards or magic. You do see there are definitely gardening tools and other things, but they're completely destroyed and overgrown uh, throughout. And you're off the trail, by the way, Basil, where it's super duper tough. Oh, sorry, that was not intentional. That's fine. You're not in combat, so it doesn't really matter. Um, You can see this creature, and actually, let's see, what do you know about this creature? Well, even you don't know. Um, You do know that this is a gargantuan dragon plant creature. Um, you know two things. A, if it's a dragon, you are probably in deep, 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 deep trouble <laughs> if this thing decides to attack. And B, because it didn't attack, it probably doesn't care about, you know, maybe this was the gardener, maybe he took care of the place, maybe he's just hanging out here, seems to be ignoring you. All right, well, man, get out of there. Who knows? Let's, let's, let's beat it. We can put a pin in this one. <laughs> okay. The dragons are like two steps above your normal. Like a like, dragon. Why are all these dra- if you were, so nasty. If you fought a dragon your level, it would be two levels higher than probably you are. Right. <laughs> dragons are super nasty. Well, I made it out of the maze. All right. Well, that was a nice little uh, detour, little uh, arboreum uh, tour. All right, dragon. Uh, fare thee well. Did we go down through here? We did. We did the. the we need to go did, north. Did we recognize this? Yes, that's the carousel. That's the carousel, and that's the. Okay. And that's the wall. The oh. avalanche where yeah. you found the card, and it was all the dead bodies. All right, I guess. So there's... Tumbling it down. Yeah. Let's go north. Okay. Oh, here's the door. How many pins do you have left? No. Oh, we've got a lot of pins. We've. Uh, I brought extra. We'll, we'll put a piton in it. <laughs> like, every, we're just go back to everything. Oh, in fact, uh, I'm not even being metaphorical because remember, uh, we actually have a map of the place yeah. that we that we did previously. So I'm, I'm hmm. adding notes to that uh, with everything, so it, so we can look it up again later if we forget. When we forget. It's literally that's a, a good idea. It's literally a real pin. I'm um, real map with real pins. Exactly. You got it. All right, Lomang. The wood of this large building has been recently covered with a coat of black paint, a side in vivid green, blue, and red, above in large entrance 
on the building's west side reads, See the demon's lanterns. A smaller door stands on the building's north side, and a densely tangled garden, which you just went through, is just south of the building. That's it. Looks like a haunted house. Haunted house. Oh, let's go in. I mean, the garden has monsters. What could the haunted house have? (laughs) Uh... The whole, if this the whole garden place has monsters, house. the well, haunted house must be fine. I'm actually feeling good about the haunted house because the banshee is outside of the haunted house. So maybe the haunted house, maybe something scared the banshee out of the haunted house. This is, maybe all, it's a so, good this is all like a reverse psychology thing. Isn't right, it? right, right. It's, it's, right. It's, 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 the, it's, the, it's the commissary. Right. Dougie's <laughs> opening the, the door. Club. It's the, the commissary. It's a bar. <laughs> good. All right, let's head in. Dougie opens the door. And I will, of course, go in first. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, you walk in. It is a haunted house themed like a dismal swamp. The ceiling bears a wide image of a solar eclipse, and the large interior structure is magically dim light. Ooh. Uh-oh. Ooh. You see, way in the back... There appears to be artificial trees, hanging vines made from green cloth, and on the floor is a stagnant pool of water here and there. Um, yeah, it looks like it's one of those old-fashioned, you walk through type haunted houses, and things <sighs> pop it's out. A... Mm. All right. Whatever you want. I, I don't know if my heart can take it. I, I'm, I'm pretty on edge. Dougie's going oh, no. in. I'm going I in. I perish from the fright. Oh, Harry it's just stop. another hallway. You go across the hallway. Stop. We can't be on top of each other. All right, hold on. As soon as you turn the corner, you continuously see the faintly glowing light. And one of the faintly glowing lights. Suddenly attacks you. Uh oh! You know what that uh, is? I know what that is. I don't know. I don't that's, think it's that's a it's will o the think. wisp. No, that's a will o the wisp. No. Roll oh, I called it. It is a. You're gl- actually wrong. It's not. It's, you wish it was. I think a it's a. Fake oh, it's a gloaming will o wisp. It's, it's, a, it's a much worse will o wisp. Will o wisp is too How low could level. Could it be worse? Will o wisp is like level seven. This thing is like much worse. It had negative nine armor class. It's impossible to hit. That, uh, that's so yeah, hard. They're, they're really hard. Um, you, Dougie, see before it can act, the gloaming will-o'-wisp with a, there's like a skull inside the dim light. It looks like this was actually the light, and it was actually sitting up there, and it's now coming at you. What do you do? <laughs> You've been listening to Roll for Combat, Agents of Edgewatch. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at RollForCombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel at Discord.RollForCombat.com.